Dan here from specialtocoffeehome.com. I'm just about to try one of Ruben Gardelli's top exclusive lots. Now, Jonathan, our head barista, is going to talk a little bit about what I'm about to taste and drink. Okay, so this is a coffee that Ruben's uh, has developed following on from his use of a very small lot of the same coffee in the uh, Italian National Brewers' Cup competition. Uh, what he's worked on is, uh, is traceability, so he's gone out to Uganda to the farms and he's worked very hard on picking exactly the right cherries at the right time so that you're getting the absolute perfect flavours and he's worked on a secret natural process as well. So this, this is a naturally processed coffee but it doesn't seem to be tainted by those flavours that you sometimes get, those kind of earthy flavours. So we don't know what the process is but we know that it's very, very consistent. It seems to have the consistency of a washed coffee here. Now you may wonder why I've got a tiny little espresso cup here, Dan's got a bigger cup. Now that's because Dan's bought this coffee <laughs> and um, it's pretty expensive. I mean, you do get what you pay for here. This is, you know, this is the equivalent of, uh, of the Chateau Lafitte of the white wine world. You, this is what you're talking about here. It's, you know, it's, it's in the high 20s for 250 grams, but it is worth it. You can brew it as espresso, you can brew it as filter. Um, it's only roasted. Not many people get away with only roasting the coffee for both methods, but it works. Ruben's kit is absolutely spot on with it. So what we're looking for here, we're talking tasting notes of sort of cherry prune, blueberry with a bit of rum in there, that typical alcoholic flavour that you get in natural coffees. Um, now we're going to taste it and see what see what we think uh, comes out there. So, that's so we've the, just put this one for an AeroPress, haven't we done for That's an AeroPress, yeah. We're talking um, four, 12 and a half grams of coffee through the UK, use a bit more um, if you're using a home grinder and to about 210 grams of water in the air press. We grind pretty fine about two and a half on the EK, um, but you might want to grind a little bit differently on your home grinder. Oh, so I can definitely taste the, the cherry dark chocolate kind of rum flavours coming through. This is one of, probably one of the nicest filter coffees I've ever had. I usually drink a, a Lungo usually, which is a slightly bit stronger, a bit thicker coffee, but this is, this is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it's got that um, really silky texture as well. You know, when you get a really high-end wine from the Bordeaux region, like, like a Latour or something like that, you get that really silky texture that you can't really find with other wines. This is very similar with this and other high-end coffees that I've tried over the years, like um, Esmeralda. You get this kind of silkiness to it. It's difficult to explain it other than, other than just the... It's, it's got a texture that's very, very silky, for want of a better word. <laughs> uh, it, it's just a delicious coffee. It's so complex. It's got loads of flavours in there. Dan? No, genuinely, this is, this is a stunning, stunning coffee. I, you know, I drink every day, probably five or six cups a day, and this, this has got to be one of the, the tastiest ones I've had. Mm. And it smells amazing as well. The aroma, especially when you open the bag, and that's one thing I noticed when I first opened the bag, the smell of this stuff is oh, it's, it's unbelievable. And then when Jonathan put it through the uh, the grinder as well, the whole room kind of smelled of that aroma. It's all these, like, almost like a floral floral aftershave uh, taste and smell in, when it when it comes through. Yeah, the roast is just so it's such an even roast in there. You can see from just look at the beans. There's no, there's not the odd bean in there. It's a bit under over roasted. Ruben's just taken a lot of care with this coffee. So I've got a few bags of this left, not that many. Um, it's in our shop right now. Take a look. Uh, any advice you want, if you buy it and you want to know how to brew it, then just give us a shout and we're happy to help you. Yeah, and if you want to actually have it perfect like our head barista makes it, we've got an AeroPress video on our YouTube channel as well. Don't forget to subscribe to that. And uh, thank you very much. That's us from the specialtycoffeehome.com group. Thank you very much. Cheers.